Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I'm Katrina. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. It is 2021 and I am so grateful to be able to come to you guys and to share in this new year. So for those of you guys whose this visit is your first time, welcome to my channel and um, take a look at some of the videos that I've done. And if you like the content, then please, by all means, consider subscribing and hang out with me for a bit. For those of you guys who have been here before and who have just been hanging out with me, welcome back, happy new year, and I really appreciate you. All right, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is a project that I stumbled upon as I was trying to plan on what type of things I wanted to do for the new year. And so this is on my make nine list. And I would like for you guys to come along with me and um, see if we can tackle this for the year 2021. So have you ever heard of a temperature project? No? Well, a temperature project um, traditionally um, is a blanket style project. And the way it works is you look at the temperatures in the area in which you live or the area in which you want to look at the temperatures and you assign a color of yarn for a range of temperatures. The range can be anywhere from five degree increments or 10 degree increments, depending on where it is you are looking to get the temperatures or where it is that you live. So many times it's where we live, we look at the temperatures, okay? And um, as you assign those colors to the temperature ranges, you look at the temperature lows and highs and you either take the range of the lows and highs for that day or you take the high for that day or the low for that day, okay? So for mine, I'm going to choose to use the temperature high for the day. Now, once you've assigned your colors for the different temperatures, you choose a project that you are going to do. Usually the project is using a very simple stitch. And the reason for that is because the colors are going to really make the project, okay? So you use a simple stitch and we're gonna use a stitch called the linen stitch. The linen stitch is a very easy um, stitch using um, single crochets and chain ones and, um, and skip. So it's very, very easy to do. And the color is going to make the most of this project. Now, as I stated before, many people choose the traditional, which is a blanket. So um, you choose your yarns, whether it be a sport weight, a DK weight, or a worsted weight. Um, and then you start by looking at the temperature for the day, looking at your chart that you make from your colors with the temperature ranges, and then you will crochet or knit a row using that particular color for that day. And the next day you do the same thing. And by the end of the year, you have a beautiful blanket that showcases the temperatures that occurred throughout the entire year. Now, you might think some of you, wow, that's a big project a blanket that I have to do and work on for 365 days. Yes, I know that does seem to be pretty big. So there are some non-traditional temperature projects that you also could consider doing. So what are those? Those are things like perhaps a scarf, which doesn't take as many stitches across. And so you would only have maybe 20 or so stitches to do each day in the particular color based on the temperature where you are. That seems doable, right? Or better yet, you could choose 
an amigurumi style project where um, you make something like a temperature snake project, which is sounds really, really cute because it ends up um, being just in a cir uh, round circular tube and you go around in the color based on the temperature for the day. And you do that for the entire year as well. And then when you finish, you can actually stuff it and make it compacted by spiraling it at, around and placing it in a really cute location somewhere in the room. So that sounds like a wonderful project also. Now, another one that you could do, which is actually the one that I am going to choose, is a wrap or a shawl. So I'm not sure if you guys remember um, a few months back uh, when I made a Just Feel Festive shawl. I will pop the picture in here. Yes, so my Just Feel Festive shawl, I used the wool-like um, yarns, which is actually a category one. So it's a very fine yarn. I doubled it when I did that project. However, for this project, I'm going to use it single. And I think it's gonna make a very beautiful drapey shawl that will be completed at the end of the year. I still had this yarn remaining and I know it will be easy for me to get if I need more. Um, and I don't have to worry about the dye lot. So those are all important things as I'm choosing my project. Um, but in any case, I really do have quite a bit of that yarn still left. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it to some use, okay? Um, so the Bohemian Wrap um, temperature um, project I found on Ravelry. And I will put the information about the designer in the description box below, as well as any other information that I find that I have mentioned. Um, I'll put that information in the box below so that if any of you guys are so inspired, you can come along on this journey with me. I really do think it'll be a fun project and I hope you guys consider doing one as well whether it be a temperature blanket, a temperature scarf, a temperature amigurumi, maybe like the snake, or a temperature wrap slash shawl. Any one of those projects would be a wonderful thing to do. And we can work on it and just touch bases periodically throughout the year to do updates. I think it'd be great. And I would like to challenge any of the other content creators that are so inclined, please consider doing a temperature project along with me. Now, um, for right now, what I would recommend for you to do is, first of all, write down the temperature high and low for the next few days. That way, if you don't have all the yarns and things for your project, at the very least, you have the raw material, which would be the temperature to help you once you have everything together. Next, you may want to get uh, some type of a grid or graph that you can use uh, to help you to kind of visually see what the project will look like as you go along. Um, some of us are more visual um, and we really need that as we were, are working on projects. Um, and so that would be um, a good idea. Next, maybe um, grab either some cardstock or maybe just some index cards um, so that you can write out the names of your yarns and the temperature ranges that you would like to use. For me, my temperature ranges are going to be in 10 degree increments. And um, that way, uh, I think that we have enough fluctuation with our temperatures that I will get a beautiful um, finished um, product with multiple colors that way. 
if your temperature doesn't change much, then what I would recommend for you to do is then go with smaller increments. That way you'll be able to use multiple uh, colors for your project. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Um, choose the appropriate hook or needle, depending on whether you're going to knit it or crochet it. And let's see. I think that's it for right now. I think those are all the things that you're going to, oh, find a container that you can use to put your yarns in and you can put them in the, in the order that uh, you're going to be using for the different temperature ranges. That way it's easily accessible. So maybe a bin or maybe a collapsible um, a container of some kind that you can use, something with a top on it or something that you could use to keep all of your yarns and your hook and or needle that can be dedicated to it so you're not looking for it all the time like I find myself doing sometimes. Okay, so um, I think those are all of the things that you need to gather. And I'll come back um, in another video so that we can talk about it again. Um, and um, if you have questions, please, by all means, put a question in the comment section and I'll do what I can to try to explain it. Um, I think leaving it open so that you can choose to, um, do whichever one of the projects that you would like is a good idea. So we're gonna call this a make-along and it's a more general make-along for a temperature um, project for 2021, okay? So I look forward to hearing from you guys. If you like this project or other things that you've seen on my channel, please like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. And if you haven't already, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. I will see you guys soon and happy new year.